Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a quick review of the Traveler's Company uh, Brass Fountain Pen. Now, this is a small pen. Uh, it is a pocket pen uh, designed as a companion uh, to the, as you can see that's very small, um, designed as a companion to the Traveler's Notebook. Uh, it's got a nice little loop there for keychains or to attach to uh, a lanyard or whatever you, you may desire, uh, and it's just a really nice small brass pen. Uh, when you take it apart and put it together in a similar way to some of the other pocket pens, you get a really lovely sized pen for, uh, for writing sessions. So I'll do a up more uh, in detail look at the pen uh, in just a second, uh, do a writing sample and yeah, and uh, let you know what this pen is about. Hope you enjoy the video. So here is the pen. Um, apologies for the inky hands. Um, I've been doing some sampling and stuff. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the pen has developed a nice little bit of um, patina, uh, and it is quite small. Now, to put it into context, here it is alongside Alami All Star, which I am taking on the trip as well. So you can see it is really quite um, a small, compact pen uh, in this in this sort of um, format but as you've seen the beauty of this pen is the fact that when it's put together it's actually quite a decent sized pen if we compare that to an unposted um, all-star it's actually a little bit longer um, so yeah it's a it's a really nice sort of length pen when it's when it's posted um, and fits nicely in the hand the clip is sort of springy enough and, and functional. Uh, these nice little like grooves at the um, at the top of the pen and also the little loop there for a, a key ring or a lanyard or whatever you might want to put it on. Um, it is a very narrow pen. Um, in fact, it's probably one of my biggest criticisms of the pen is the, the width of the section. But you're not using this necessarily for extended writing periods are, you know, it's sort of probably more realistically used for jotting notes or, um, you know, sort of quick, quick writing sessions, and that's quite fine. Uh, and in a smaller hand, that would probably really not be an issue even for longer sessions. The nib is really quite uh, wonderful. Um, it's uh, certainly, it's a very, very fine fine, uh, typical of sort of a, an Asian fine nib. Uh, and incredibly smooth and just wet enough so that you can use it on any paper without having to worry. Um, I really like sort of the bullet sort of type design of the pen uh, and sort of that sort of a bullet and rounded sort of tip there and it's you know it's really quite a pleasing pen to look at and to hold. Uh, it's got nice weight to it. It's not heavy uh, but it's sort of quite well balanced. Um, certainly couldn't use it sort of unposted, although, you know, for very quick writing sessions, you know, to, to tick something off a list, that wouldn't be an issue either. It's engraved uh, with the uh, Traveler's Company made in Japan. Yeah, it's a really nice little pen. Now, I've been using this with the Traveler's uh, Company uh, ink cartridges in the blue-black. Um, I'm not sure who makes this ink, um, but I actually really quite like it. It's a very light blue-black, um, and it, yeah, it's it's really nice to, to write with. The one big sort of downside to this pen is, in a way, its size. As well as it being its strength, it's one of its weaknesses, uh, because it does mean you can only use standard uh, short standard international cartridges, uh, or the only converter I've found that will work in it is the Kaveco squeeze converter. Um, not the Monteverde small converter or the Kaveco converter for the Sport uh, are both too long. You can get a tiny amount of ink by not putting the plunger all the way down, um, but you know, you're much better off using uh, ink cartridges in this pen. Um, and you know, cartridges are available everywhere and relatively uh, inexpensive. Um, and of course, you can refill the cartridges using a syringe once you're done. Um, we'll do a writing sample in a second so you can sort of see the pen in action. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a really 
interesting pen and a great pen for traveling. Um, I'm taking this pen with me uh, to Europe next week. I'm going away for a few weeks for both work and a bit of a holiday. Uh, so uh, this will feature in the third part of my traveling with pens a fountain pens uh, series uh, where I'll go into a little bit more detail about my ideas for this pen and why I'm why I thought this was a good idea to take with me on that trip um, but I think it's a really lovely pen it's not inexpensive um, in Australia these retail for between 90 and 100 dollars um, but what you're getting is a really well made really sturdy well you know uh, uh, well tuned pen it's it's a it's a lovely it's a lovely pen to write with um and it does you know get a bit of attention when you sort of uh, i had this at a at a work uh event the other day and i was writing with it and people were asking about it and a lot of people don't ask about my normal sort of fountain pens because i tend to use pens that are a little less uh stylized i guess you could say um so yes this is a it's a really lovely pen and one that I think is definitely worth um, the money, and particularly if you're looking for something compact that you can put in a pocket or on a keychain, or um, yeah, it's 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 great for traveling. And I know it's designed to sort of go with the the traveler's notebook, uh, and that's you know a perfect application for a pen like this. So this is. This is the fine steel nib. Oh, gosh. And the ink is Please excuse my handwriting. I'm writing sort of around the uh, the tripod here and it's getting a little awkward today for some reason. Okay, so this is quite a smooth nib. You can hear a, a bit of feedback there, but it really is smooth. Now, it's not the wettest nib, as I said. Um, it lays down a nice amount of ink, uh, but it's, I think, it, one of its absolute uh, strengths is the fact that you could write on just about any paper with this pen and you won't get bleed or feather um, because it just doesn't lay down enough ink for that but it is exceptionally fine and it is stiff like it, I'm pushing it quite hard there to get some sort of variation out of it and you know I wouldn't want to push it any any harder than that I don't think it would respond very well but it's not designed um, for that uh, let's just do the, uh, the little quote that I've been using And that, of course, is John Macefield. Can't write at all today. From his poem, Sea Fever. So yeah, I really can't give this pen enough praise. I think it's a beautiful pen. I think it writes well. It's a great pocket size. It extends out to a really nice writing size. And if I'm being completely honest, I just think it's really quite an attractive pen. It's got a lot going for it. Its, de it's design is unique uh, and, you know, comparing it to a couple of other sort of pocket pens on the market, you think of things like the Kaweco Sport. It's not dissimilar in a lot of ways uh, in terms of the fact that it, you know, it posts to create like a, you know, a decent length pen. Um, but what I think sets this one apart is uh, its 
its its weight is nice and you know, nice and substantial in the hand, uh, and the material it's made from is just beautiful. Um, and I know you can get these uh, sports in sort of brass finish, uh, but I don't know. There's something about this design that really appeals to me. So a fabulous pen, great for travelling, and certainly something that uh, I would suggest you you get uh, if this is something that you are interested in. Now I got this from Bookbinders uh, Stationery Shop uh, through their online store. They're an Australian retailer, uh, and they have a fabulous range of pens and inks and stationery and great customer service, really, really um, quick, uh, and the pricing is really, really amazing. So if you're in Australia, or if you'd like to order from Australia, then check out Bookbinders because, um, yeah, you, you won't be disappointed, and I don't think you'll be disappointed with this pen either, a great little pen. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to drop me a message either here or on one of my social media platforms or on any of my videos if you've got questions or um, comments on anything. Uh, I uh, am doing Q&A videos, so if you ask a question, it may end up uh, in one of those videos. Um, I'd love to know what you travel with. I'd love to know if you've had this pen and what your thoughts are on it. I think it's great. Um, in the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.